Hello, my name is Adam Bean and let's create a um, Afterburner application, uh, a Java, Java fix application with, with a little bit more sophistication, so with a split pane or split view or something. This is one of the most frequently asked questions, how to do this. So um, I will start with Igniter, which is a simple Maven archetype and a project with the name Hello. So it will fetch all the definitions from Maven Central and create in a moment a project. It takes a while because it downloads everything um, from, from the internet, the definition. So, and now if I start the project, I will just build this and start it. Um, it uh, will start the application, so a main file, and um, you will see a simple view. So now it created 256 views here. Somehow interesting, but what we would like to do is to put this in a split pane, for instance, or tab or whatever. So in order to do so, um, so how the uh, app is structured right now, there is a main method, and in the main method I'm just creating a dashboard view, what is within this folder. So uh, what I would like to do is now to create the main view of the application, and I call this hello view. Hello view, and hello presenter, this is just conventional. Hello presenter, and and what we also need is the fxml file. So the name would be hello, because uh, it's the name of the application. And I'll put it just here to the main folder, hello. So we have hello presenter, hello view, and the definition of the file is hello. The hello view and hello fxml have to correspond. So, and now I will like cre to create the controller, fx controller. And the controller, the name of the controller is going to be airhacks follow me. And I think um, hello presenter. So it should work. So double check that. To, uh, we make it initializable and output something on start to see whether it actually works. So let's say here. Uh, initialize and what uh, Afterburner also supports, we could create here post construct method, which would be invoked as well. Post construct as out initializing or just make it consistent in it. So let's start the application and what I would expect the output in the console. So, oh no. Is it, uh, it uh, outputted something, but not what we expected. Why not? Because we have to wire the application first. So instead of invoking the dashboard view, I would like to use the hello view, of course. So let's do this. This is the replacement here. Hello view. Hello view. And the hello view needs to extend the fxml view because we would like to use the definition, so the, uh, the layout defined in the hello XML. So I think it looks nice already. Uh, I would like to rebuild this with Maven and then restart the project. So run. So now it's empty as expected. And you can see init and initialize. So both are um, written to the console, which is actually a good sign. So. Um, Let's make it a little bit sophisticated. So what I would like to do is I just open the Syn Builder and uh, I would like to add a split pane, which um, make a horizontal one and I will say fit to parent. So it is full size and now it comprises two parts. So the upper and lower part two anchor panes. So the first one, we can call this uh, anchor pane, this one left, and this one right. So we have two anchor panes, left and right. So now what I can do right now is to inject both anchor panes to my presenter 
and this is working with um, fxml annotation uncle pain left right so and now now they are uh, injected and the interesting story right now is what we could do is to say we are creating the dashboard view here and now we initialize the dashboard view of course forgot the new and we can say the left pane get children we add the view to the left pane manually because um, doing this visually it would be too cumbersome so we are more flexible we can create as many instances as we like so um just rebuild everything so maven project so make it sure it actually copies all the resources to, um, to the jar and just run it. As you can see, it works. So we have now um, the views created here. Now let's create something else on the right on the right side. So how to do this? I will just create another folder and the folder or package. Uh, a right name is right. So we have the right view. It's going to be the right view then the right presenter and of course again we need the uh, fxml file and the name is right and again i have to move it here so the right presenter um, we can skip the um, initializer right now but this is still always extend from fxml in most cases this view is empty uh, yeah empty because it's defined entirely in uh, right xml uh, in the fxml but what you can always do you can override method for instance uh, get view and you can post initialize or just manipulate whatever you like here but usually it is empty so and the um Right of XML, we have to associate again manually with the controller. So let's do it. Um, controller, and the name of the controller is com ex follow me. Uh, right and right present. So we have the presenter, and we can open this and let's create a beautiful button. So the button, and we can say this is a little bit smaller. And the button is in the middle. And then and the name is uh, click me. It's the name of the button, which is nice. And what we also need is the button needs an ID click me. So you can already imagine why, because we would like to inject the Button. It's actually not required, just uh, make it a little bit leaner. Uh, we create a method called clicked. Even better. So, the button on action, the method click should be invoked. And uh, what we only have to do is to define a method with the name clicked. And we say clicked. So, with the presenter, with the view, looks nice. What we only have to do is to um, in initialize both in the hello presenter so let's do this so we instantiate now the right view view equals new right view and then say right get children at view get view so right view and this should be left view so now it's consistent so right left save it build it and run it so now you um, what you can see it is perfectly viable to combine um, stuff created by with scene builder with manually crafted uh, design and it's not only viable it is very productive and also very easy to maintain 
So let's start this and see what happened. As you can see, click me, launch, create views. It works and clicked is also output here. So um, thank you for watching and check out the article on Afterburner on OTN. And yeah, see you soon on one of my workshops, um, conferences, projects or um, in the Java ecosystem. So thank you. Bye.